Hey, it's Lindsay and Abby, and we're about to get really serious about your armpits. <laughs> so if you choose one way to do better for your body, deodorant is the one you should choose. Uh, your regular deodorants from um, the supermarket, wherever you choose to buy your deodorants, are um, just terrible for you. They are have aluminum in them and aluminum is the one thing that they have really done a lot of research on and have shown that it can cause cancer um, and what the aluminum does is it makes your skin cells swell so it then makes your glands pinch close which causes you not to sweat so that's how they make it an antiperspirant well your body really is not supposed to hold on to those toxins it is supposed to sweat them out sometimes um, so aluminum is just a terrible ingredient and there are so many natural deodorants out there that really do work some of them don't. We will share with you the ones that we have found that don't, um, but some of them are amazing. So we're gonna share this with you today. So my first one I have is, the first one I actually tried, it is by Soapwalla. Kind of a cult product here by them. Um, Soapwalla is a, is a great brand. So they use super fine vegetable powders and clays, as well as lavender and peppermint and tea tree oil. And that's what helps um, inhibit moisture and also cause the bacteria um, to not grow. So sweat is not really what stinks. It's um, the bacteria that's left there under your arms that is really what smells. So really you're just looking for something that um, stops that bacteria from growing. So um, the Soap Lala one works really, really great for me. I just have the original scent here. But the um, original scent smells yeah, really you can good. Yeah, it smells like lavender and the tea tree oil. It kind of smells like a tea tree. That's what mm -hmm. I get mostly. It kind of smells yeah. manly. Yeah, so um, it is, of course, a cream. You apply with your fingers. There, um, is it like a lotion or a wax? It's a lo like a lotion, okay. like a creamy lotion, yeah. Um, it applies really nicely. It dries quickly. It's very creamy, so I don't find I have to rub it in a lot. Um, it's made of food-grade organic ingredients, which is very important. Um, and no other bad ingredients in it. The Soap Walla one does have a little bit of baking soda in it. Some people have some sensitivities to baking soda. I can have some sensitivities, especially if I shave, which I shave every morning. So I didn't have sensitivity with this one every day, but occasionally I would have a little bit of irritation under my arms from it. So if you are highly sensitive to baking soda, maybe not try that or try, try a sample of it first before you go commit to a full size. It's two ounces, costs $14, and it lasts me a couple months, so. Yeah, cool. Um, the next, the, the one that I have is actually, I have two versions. Um, it's Meow Meow Tweet, which is just a fun thing to say. <laughs> um, and they have a, bake, uh, a baking soda free version as well, so you can either baking soda it up or no baking soda. Um, and again, it just comes down to what your sensitivities are. I've never had a sensitivity to baking soda, even with shaving. So it is just up to you. But this is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. um, you can tell it's like a soft wax, almost like mm -hmm. candle wax whenever it's a little bit warm. Mm -hmm. um, this is the tea tree smell, smell so it is um smell like tea tree but not as strong as the soap wall soap walla one that mm -hmm. she just featured and this is grapefruit which smells really delicious like you could just eat it up but you can tell the consistency and you know it kind of just melts right into your skin just like any other wax would and i feel like this performs we should have gotten like napkins or something <laughs> um this performs really well i mean with these um, deodorants you are certainly going to feel a little bit of wetness mm -hmm. down there because there's nothing preventing your glands from sweating that's the whole point that's what makes mm -hmm. these better for you but what you're trying to do is just combat the odor but I do think I do feel like I get less wet <laughs> down in my armpits with this than I do with some others right and I don't know if it's because of the waxiness version versus like a lotion-y mm -hmm. type like the Soap Walla or, or what, but I feel like it's less 
sweat. Yeah, I sweat less with the Meow Meow Tweet than I do with the soap bottle. Yeah. There must be some a little bit of difference between their ingredients. Yeah, maybe the, the the waxiness of it in a way mm -hmm. is a barrier, or maybe there's something in there that's absorbing mm -hmm. the water more. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so there's another good option. Again, you kind of have to use your fingers and that can get kind of messy, so that would but be the only I downside. I did hear through the grapevine that Meow Meow Tweet might be coming out with a stick. Oh. They do. I hope that's really true and that wasn't just a rumor because that would be awesome. If not, uh, way to that. spread the rumor. Way to just add to that. Meow Meow Tweet's like, ah! I never said anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next up I have a new one to me. I've only actually had this one a few days. It is the Piper Y deodorant. These guys were featured on Shark Tank. I don't know if you caught them or not. Um, but I just finished up my soap walla and I opened up the Piper Y. I used it for the first time. I get up at 4.40 in the morning. Um, so my deodorant goes on very early and I don't get home till late. I sometimes go to the gym and I actually took like a 7 p.m. bar class the first time I tried the Piper Y and I still smoked it when I got home. It was amazing. I smell, you. I smell myself and I smell <laughs> great. Um, so the Piper Y's ingredients are a little bit different. So they have charcoal in theirs and charcoal is able to absorb 1,000 times its weight in water. So this one actually does really help with wetness. Um, now the rest of the ingredients, so they have organic coconut oil, shea butter, vitamin E, which is supposed to um, really be soothing for sensitive skin. If, um, so they say it's not supposed to cause any kind of irritation um, like some other baking soda heavy formulas. So um, I continued to use the Piper Y for two or three days and then I was showering one morning and I went to wash under my arms and I was extremely irritated and sensitive and I was just so bummed out um, that it caused irritation for me. Um, I haven't heard anybody else saying it caused, um, causes them any irritation so I might just have very sensitive underarms. Yeah, maybe your irritation's coming from something else. And I'm not putting anything else under my arms. <laughs> well, you're shaving them. Right. Well, if I was not shaving, I would not have any irritation from this. It's so because it's like I'm shaving. Exposed. Yes. Follicles. Yes. So I really do have to shave every morning, um, especially this time of year when it's hot. Um, so it is due, due to the shaving first. Um, but some people are shaving and not having any irritation. Everybody's different. But I'm not completely crossing this one off because I love it so much. It really worked so well. Um, so. I'm thinking about getting laser hair removal again, so if I do, I'm going to go back to my Piper Y. And if it still doesn't work, you can just gift it to I'll me. Gift it. Yay. But I wouldn't, um, if you can get your hands on a sample of it, if you do have sensitivities, still try it because it is amazing. If you don't have any sensitivities, just go ahead and buy it because awesome. it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so my next one is a little bit random. So a couple months ago, I went to Key West, Florida, and we had gone down to the southernmost point. We're doing all the touristy things, and we're just walking back to our hotel. It's a big walking town. You walk everywhere. And we come across this shop, Purely Paradise, and I'm like, er, put on the brakes. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm running in there. Left the boyfriend outside on the sidewalk. <laughs> and basically, it's a local woman there who makes all kinds of bath products on site in her shop in Key West, Florida. So, you know, the packaging is not, you know, all that beautiful and leaves a little bit to be desired there. But um, she did have a deodorant that I bought while I was there that came in a stick form, which is what I really wanted to try. And her whole thing with her deodorant is the use of salt to um, eliminate that bacteria. As Abby mentioned before, what smells in your armpits is not the sweat, it's not the wetness, but it's the bacteria that lives in that wetness. And so salt works to eliminate the bacteria, but salt is, it also naturally absorbs water. I mean, how many times have you, um, well, I mean, like whenever you go to the, whenever you're, they, you're stranded in the ocean, they say not to drink the salt water because it's right. very dehydrating. Right. Um, and I remember when I was a kid, like some other mean kids would pour salt on slugs. Did they ever do that down here in the uh, south? Well, <laughs> it kills them. <laughs> they dry out. 
they dry out. So I, the salt works to kind of absorb the moisture too, and then I think it converts. I'm trying to remember every little thing she told me. I wasn't really taking notes. Wasn't planning on talking about this stuff on camera. <laughs> but the the salt is converted, and then it evaporates. The salt it turns into salt, and then the salt evaporates away. Um, I do feel like this really does help with the wetness. It's not perfect by any means, um, but I do feel a little less wet um, with this. Now this does have a very soapy, fragrant smell to it. Mm -hmm. um, she said she used essential oils, and I can't remember, again, the quality of those essential oils. We tried to call her before we made this video, but um, Island Life and all, she it didn't is, answer. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you can go online and contact her yourself and try and get some more information. It does say that it contains vegetable proteins, chamomile, um, which is a little bit of that, odor but it can't be a hundred percent yeah it smells pretty islandy fragrant yeah, yeah. Um, it also has vegetable glycerin in it and vitamin e and it's free of aluminum so that problem is eliminated mm -hmm. and also free of bactericides and bactericides are those you know substances that kill the bacteria um and those are usually pretty chemical laden mm -hmm. um not good for you so it doesn't necessarily prevent this this prevents you know the glands from swelling up and closing with mm -hmm. no aluminum and also doesn't contain anything to kill the bacteria rather it has the salt in it to do that instead mm -hmm. so it's like a double whammy but i just thought it was like so cute and her shop was so sweet and mm -hmm. she was so nice she, she the woman making all the stuff is also the one working there i don't know so I thought I'd give a shout out to a little yeah. local shop in Little Key West. Yeah, check it out. What if there's any lady location. around here making deodorants? I bet so. We should look into it. I'll have to look. Yeah, I've never. I know someone setting. who makes soap, but I don't know if she makes yeah. deodorant or not. Yeah. Um, so I had a little bonus item for you guys here. This is by Wild Care. This is their hydrosols. So they um, specialize in hydrosols. They have some other products there, but they have quite a few different kinds. But this particular one is Lemon Light Hydrosol. And um, lemons have a naturally antiseptic and deodor deodorizing properties to them. So anytime, you know, our, our pH balance just changes daily. You never know what could throw off your pH. Um, so some days, even if your deodorant usually works for you, it might not work for you on that day. Yeah, like they say, stress, sweat, yeah, smells exactly. differently. Yeah. So this is meant for your face. Lemon um, is, you know, of course you have any acne, it will help. The antiseptic will help with any blemishes. It also can um, lighten um, hyperpigmentation. Um, it's, so it's a great toner, but it's multitasking. Feels good? It feels you great. Put it in the fridge, feel real good. It's starting to heat up outside. It smells familiar, but not in a good way. <laughs> like, almost like a baby. I don't know how you're going with this. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's multitasking because you can spray it on your underarms if you're feeling not so fresh, mm -hmm. and it will neutralize any odors. You can also spray it on your yoga mat, so that will kill any bacteria growing on your yoga mat. Um, even on the website, it says you can spray it on your dog, so if your dog's a little stinky, um, give her a little spritz. <laughs> but um, Wild Care is a really great company, too. They use only 100% organic lemons in this hydrosol, and they have a really unique unique way of deriving um, either if it's a, the plant or whatever they're getting the um, oil from to get into the hydrosol. So I highly recommend, recommend checking them out. Um, this one works really well. Cool. Well, that wasn't so bad. Not so bad. <laughs> I hope we've helped you Yes, a and bit. like Abby said in the beginning, if you're not going to do anything else for yourself, um, invest in these deodorants. They're not that much more expensive than you know, well, they kind of are. They are a little bit, but honestly, they last. They weren't the uh, the toxic deodorants. They weren't working for me either. They weren't working. I mean, no, I was not sweating, but I wasn't always smelling fresh. I smell better with these than I ever did 
with my three dollar yeah whatever brand I was using secret or, who knows <laughs> who knows but yeah so they aren't I mean but I guess they're not going to break the bank so no. it's a really good entry Bring level way for you to kind of go natural go organic um, they are really coming a long way with the technology and the ingredients that they're using to help combat the biggest complaint of a natural deodorant which is that you are still right. sweating um, even if you're not smelling mm -hmm. so try and give some of these a try and see what you think a lot of them come in sample sizes so you can um, just test them out for a small period of time but um, love to know what's working for you guys as well if there's yeah. one we haven't mentioned here yeah. that you think is really great I'd love to hear about that too yeah and this goes for guys just as much as girls so yeah. think of the men in your life and preventing breast cancer um, in any way that we possibly can yeah. so thanks so much for watching subscribe give us a thumbs up comment down below and follow us on social see you next time Bye. Bye. Oh.